They didn't just exist, they lived. And they left a beautiful <laughs> legacy behind. Two young mothers remember tonight as women who had a huge impact on their families. Topping our news at 11, the sisters-in-law leave seven children behind between the two of them. Yeah, they were killed in a hit and run accident over the weekend while crossing Schaefer Highway on the city's west side. Jason Colthorpe was there tonight as emotions poured out in their memory. Family and friends, more than 200 strong of Brittany Jones and Erica Yancey. Gathered Tuesday evening outside King and Queens Hall, trying to cope with their tragic losses we release this pain. and needing lots of prayer. We release this hurt. Oh we release it, God, and we ask for your comfort. I have five kids, and I lost one, and I'm so devastated. Paula Miller's daughter, Brittany, was 28 and had three kids of her own. Oh! Be with the children. She was always a giving and sweet young lady. And I'm just so sorry that this happened to her. Oh my God. Erica was 38 with four children. My big sister was like, like a second mom to me because she set that standard and she set that, that level of respect. It was after 1 a.m. Saturday when the sisters-in-law were leaving this hall when they were hit by an SUV that didn't stop. We focused on our healing as a family and making sure her children are better than okay. Because as a, as a unit and as a family, we're going to make sure. The driver of that SUV, by the way, uh, a 25 year old woman from Oak Park turned herself in earlier this week, yesterday, uh, and is now facing charges. She's expected to be arraigned sometime tomorrow. It's interesting, one half of this family is still very angry about what she did, and the other half, or the other side, I should say, uh, forgiving or maybe not forgiving just yet, but thinking of only the positive, ready to let justice do its work here. In Detroit, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Okay, Jason, thanks.